Howdy, lieutenants and economists. The most volatile, evil, disgusting things on the planet, humans. If you have a video request, you can always go to assholeconsulting.com. Yeah, I am gonna charge you, kids. And that is the importance of not fucking up. You are such an asshole! Hi Aaron, my name is Isaac and I am contacting you for some advice on whether I should go into civil engineering or if I should go into something like computer science or computer programming. I'm currently 28 years old and work in manufacturing. I went to a one year tech school for welding right out of high school. Welding is okay, but I would like to achieve something better and make more money. I have over 30000 saved up in the bank to pay for schooling, but I am unsure what to do. I am mostly afraid of saturation for demand in both fields. A little guidance would be great. Let me know your price if you need more information. Thanks, asshole. All right, so you're looking at uh, civil engineering or computer science or computer programming. All right, <clears throat> um, you would, you basically have three options here. Um, two for sure, I still think in my mind. One, depending on how serious you want to be about self-study. The two that are for sure in my mind is civil engineering and computer science. Those are both fine degrees. I know everyone and their mother is saying STEM is flooded. Terribly sorry. I don't see that in the data. I don't see it in labor market. I don't see it in starting salaries. I don't see it in average salaries. I know it's tough. I know it's difficult. And I have, I understand people's concerns about uh, HB1 visa people coming out. I got that. But in the grand scheme of degrees, there's still some of the best paying. You know, everyone's like, there's no sushi on the menu. There's just a hamburger and a shit sandwich. It's like, well, I guess you're going to order the hamburger then, right? Because if you're going to, if you are going to go to college, there are still some degrees worth, oh, electrical engineering slutted. Still better than sociology. The third option that you have is computer programming. Again, perfectly fine. You don't have to go to school for it. It will help. Um, and that's why I would recommend if you, have, if you have to choose between computer science and civil engineering. But you have a hankering for programming. You kind of like it. Um, I would take some classes part-time in computer science because you're in no rush. You could take them online. That's another convenient thing about this. But then self-teach yourself, self-instruct, uh, computer programming languages. You can do it, all right? You, you can easily do it. Okay, not easily, but you can do it. You don't have to go to school to do it. Uh, so what I would recommend between the three is a combination of computer science and computer programming. And the reason is two main ones. Well, three. The computer sciences pay more than civil engineering, but that's, that's not really the reason I'm recommending these two or the two combined. One, uh, these are something that you could take online and you don't have to give up your job and you could take it part-time. Civil engineering, you are inevitably going to have to be there. Yeah, you can get your two years of prerequisite in English composition class because you don't speak English enough already. Yeah, you could take that all, all, all online, but inevitably your labs, your physical labs, you're going to have to be at an actual physical place to stress test and everything else to get a civil engineering degree. Computer science, you can keep being a welder, take your classes uh, online anytime you want, doesn't matter. They're accredited uh, schools offering degrees in computer science. You want to double check and make sure that it is ADET certified. I think Western Governors University got caught with their pants down that some of their degrees were not ABET certified. That's the important certification you want with any STEM degree. And then on the side as well, I wouldn't say a hobby, but more of a serious kind of quasi-discipline, you would teach yourself programming. Or you could even enroll in a, in a programming boot camp if you would want. And you can go ahead and search what are the most in-demand uh, programming languages right now. So uh, the ability to take these classes remotely, cheaply, maybe not even have to take a class, maybe not even have to get a degree, you just get your certifications and go from there. You can start working side projects, side gigs. Um, uh, and that can be done from the convenience of your home and pretty cheap, I'd go that route. The other reason I'm going to recommend the computer science and computer programming combined again, however you feel, um, I would recommend uh, that because that has the potential for remote work, location independence. Civil engineering, you got to be there building that bridge. You got to be there building that ditch. You got to be there building those railroad tracks. Uh, anything, well not anything, but uh, the computer sciences in general, uh, that's where your digital nomads are and I think that will allow for a lot more freedom. And again, the, the dream is to live in a third world country that's safe with first world income and you're having a grand old time with your internet access. So that's what I would recommend. Um, 
still nothing wrong with civil engineering. It's just it's going to require that you attend in Neville a physical college. Um, and you know what, dude? Why don't you take some classes online or, you know, look up on Matt Tran's channel. Find out what is it like to be a computer programmer. What is it like to be a civil engineer? Do some sniffing around and research these careers uh, before you commit to them because, um, it, you know, it, you, the, the answer might become apparent. Like, oh, wow, I'd love to be a civil engineer. And I would, I would have hated computer programming. But do a little sniffing around. See what you like first. Both are fine. I'm just saying based on the traits, the ease, the flexibility, the scalability, and the remote location work independence, I'd be going the computer science and computer programming route. So, all right, that's it. You guys got questions? Cappy's got answers over at assholeconsulting.com. We'll see you later. Toodles.